Okay guys, so I told you today we were gonna talk about the difference between being busy and being productive. And I made some notes and they got to be a lot longer than I intended. And I apologize for being blurry eyed and exhausted looking, but I worked all night and just got off work. So here we go. Um, everyone nowadays talks about being busy. I know, I mean, I'm busy, everyone's busy, but being busy is an excuse to ourselves for not doing the important things, the scary things, the difficult things, kind of, being busy is the new being lazy. Oh, I can't do that. I'm too busy. I can't do that. I'm too busy. And so let's take a look at the difference between being busy and being productive. So people who are busy want to look like they have a mission. They don't actually know where they're going. They do step confidently because they don't want anyone to know that they have any doubts about where they're going. They have no idea where they're going but they're going there very confidently. Look at me, look how busy I am, look how important I am, yay! That's what they're trying to say. Um, people who are productive actually have a mission for their lives. So that because they have a mission, they know their destination. They know where they're going. They may not know every step about how they're gonna get there, and they're totally open about that. They don't know every step along the way, but they know where they're headed, okay? People who are busy have lots and lots and lots of priorities. But because they have so many priorities, nothing is a priority. I mean, you have three or four priorities, you have priorities. And you have like a couple dozen priorities, you have a mess. You know, it's, it's, that's just a mess. You can't focus on that many priorities. Nothing is a priority if you have that many so-called priorities. It might make you feel busy and important, but in practice, it's totally useless. People who are productive have a few very truly important priorities. They know the Pareto principle. 80% of your desired results come from about 20% of your activities. So they work hard on figuring out what those productive activities are and focusing their attention on those while outsourcing, delegating, or even just ignoring the majority of the rest, okay? People who are busy say yes very quickly. They are your go-to person. You know, they're the one who won't say no to anything. They're always, oh, okay, sure, sure, sure. They think if they don't step up to the plate constantly, the whole world is going to fall apart. The problem is that they're cutting their lives into a trillion little pieces, and those pieces are spread out over other people's priorities, not theirs. Okay? People who are productive say yes slowly. Warren Buffett described integrity as, you say no to most things. Think about that. Before accepting yet another responsibility into your life, a productive person will consider whether or not that advances their priorities for the year. A productive person will look at all the other responsibilities they already have and see if they've already overscheduled themselves or if they're getting close to it so that they don't overschedule themselves. Take time before you say yes to something. There is nothing wrong with saying, oh, that sounds like a really great honor. I'm going to have to think about it and I will get back to you on such and such a date. And there is also absolutely nothing wrong with saying, you know, I can't do that right now, but that sounds great. Um, let me know how it goes. Okay. Uh, people who are busy focus on action. They have lists. They have lists for their lists, their lists have sublists, their lists have checklists. They have time trackers, habit trackers, more and more trackers and habits and lists and so on. They they look at it and they go, look how much I'm getting done. But very little of what they accomplish actually means anything. People who are productive focus on clarity before action. So unlike their busy brothers and sisters who are checking things off their list, the productive person is gonna take some time to sit and reflect and think about what are the 20% of the activities that are giving them 80% of their value. This is what's gonna provide the biggest bang for their buck on their time. So the best way to do that is to document your experiences and I don't mean on Facebook. I mean, although if you're really, really into Facebook and you've done a thorough job, reading through your Facebook timeline might give you some good ideas. But what I'm talking about is keep a diary or a journal. Take five or 10 minutes at the end of the day, think about what worked, think about what didn't work, and make a plan from there, okay? Write down anything that inspired you because that's gonna help you hone in on what are the truly productive activities. So people who are busy are always talking about all the things they're doing. They're so busy talking about all the things that they're doing, you have to kind of wonder when they actually have time to do them. So think about it. Talking about writing isn't writing. Talking about blogging isn't blogging. 
Talking about exercising isn't exercising. And talking about eating right isn't eating right. You have to actually do the things. So people who are productive let their results do their talking. It's not that they never tell you what they're doing. They, they'll gladly share it with you. But they don't have all the time in the world to just sit and talk about it all the time. So it's because they're busy getting results. And it's the results that matter. So don't listen to what people say they're doing or say they're going to do. Look and see what they actually do. Okay? People who are busy spend their time making excuses about not having any time. Of course they don't have any time. They're wasting all that time, you know, saying yes to everybody and having a million priorities and not telling anybody no. And yeah, how could they possibly have any time? And then they're going to spend even more time making excuses. And that's more time that they could be doing something productive. So people who are productive make time for what is truly important. And if it isn't truly important, they just don't bother doing it. There is an old Irish saying that goes, it's better to do something than nothing. And while I'm, you know, I'm Irish, my husband's Irish, pretty fond of the Irish, um, this is a really stupid saying. I'm thinking they were pretty drunk when they said that one. Because it's not always true. If the action you're about to take does not align with your values, if it isn't advancing your goals, if it isn't serving the purpose that God called you to serve, you're better off not wasting your time doing it. Take a day off, rest, recharge. Spend some time having some fun, and when you come back, you're going to be more productive, and you're going to focus on the things that do matter and do advance your goals, okay? People who are busy, multitask. Okay, yeah, I've talked about this in some of my blog posts. Uh, I'm going to remind you, multitasking is the equivalent of working drunk, stupid, or both. Probably both, okay? So don't do it if you can avoid it. And yes, moms, I know that isn't always possible. I'm a mom. I have eight kids. I know that multitasking is sometimes required. But that doesn't mean you should go out of your way and try to do it, okay? Cut out as much multitasking as you can. People who are productive, focus. So if there's a task you need to get done, use the Pomodoro method. Figure out what activity you need to do. Set a timer for 20 minutes and do nothing else until that timer goes off. So if you get up, you need to get a glass of water. You uh, decide you're going to check Facebook or you're going to check your email or, hey, what was that text that just came to you? Turn your ringer off on your phone. Seriously, turn the ringer off. Just because somebody has your phone number does not mean they have time for your life, okay? Um, but if you do anything else other than that task, you have to reset the timer back to the 20 minutes. And you have to keep working on it until the 20 minutes are up or the project is done, Okay. If you finish a complete, it's called a Pomodoro. If you can finish one of those, a complete 20 minutes, take a break. If you still have more work to do on that project that day, don't take a huge break, but take a break. And then come back and do another 20 minutes, okay? People who are busy want other people to be busy too. So this is where we get into management and managing teams and managing employees and so on and so forth. Managers who are into busy get frustrated when their employees look relaxed or like they're having some fun with their work. They get frustrated over a lot of things, really. I'm, come on, we've all had that boss, right? They want to be valued for their effort, not for their results. They might not even be getting any actual results, but, you know, they're working so hard, so they want to be patted on the back. Um, honestly, if they're working that hard and they're doing that many things and they still aren't accomplishing anything, they need counseling, not a pat on the back, okay? They need to learn to how to be more effective because what a waste of time and money and effort, okay? People who are productive want other people to be effective. Managers who are productive want to see their employees having fun, being creative, getting things done. They create an environment that encourages people to excel. So here's your takeaways for the day. Stop filling your time with tasks instead of prioritizing your results. Start figuring out how to spend less time getting more done. Stop working without any systems or any way of tracking your progress. Start using systems and journals to track your goals and your accomplishments so that you can see what worked and what didn't work. Okay. Stop just tackling tasks at random without prioritizing. Okay. Start working on the most important things first. Stop spending a lot of time doing things that just don't matter. Okay. Start being selective with the use of your time and resources. And stop equating doing with accomplishing. Start choosing the most direct path to accomplishing some results. Have a blessed day. I'm going to go drive home and I'm going to go to bed. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.